Welcome to Blogging 116. It's really easy to write a new post and I'm going to take you today through some of the um, options and features that you have in adding a new post. You can either go to New Post and pick your blog or if you're on the dashboard you can choose either Write a New Post or click on the Write button. Then your default is to write a new post but you can also choose to write a page instead. Um, we'll deal with posts. We've dealt with posts versus pages in another curriculum item. But for now, we're going to write a new post. And this post is Blogging 116, Writing a Blog Post. So as I say, when writing a blog post in WordPress, as I will demonstrate in a video screencast that accompanies this course in the blogging curriculum in SMUG, you can format your text in many ways, and I'm going to show you um, exactly how you do that. You can make text bold by clicking the bold icon or italic or you can even strike through if you make a mistake in a blog post you want to generally strike through it um, so that you're not fudging and pretending that you didn't really make the mistake. You can have bolted lists or otherwise known as unordered lists by clicking that icon or you can have your list be numbered by highlighting the items and clicking the one, two, three icon. If you're publishing, a, publishing an extended quote from another site, such as this insightful paragraph from my post about Haro, uh, you can use the block quote function. And so to do that, you highlight the text that you want block quoted and click this quotation button. And of course, you can have your text be left justified, which is the default which is chosen by that. You can have it centered or you can have it right justified. It's really easy to um, add a link to which you can do by highlighting text and then clicking the icon that looks like a chain link um, which for as you see there's the insert link there's the remove link. Uh, we'll add a couple of those links right now. I want to add a link to the blogging curriculum, so I'm going to highlight that. I'm going to go over here. Here's the URL for the blogging curriculum. I'm going to copy that, come back here, click on the link, and then just paste that URL and tell it to open in a new window. Click insert, and voila, we have a link. To unlink, you just highlight that uh, link and then click the unlink button. It's really easy to add a more tag to make your pages load more quickly, particularly when you have long posts. And if, it have, if they have YouTube videos, it probably makes it even more essential so that your main page loads more rapidly. All you do is pick an insertion point and click the add more tag and it's added. If you show this uh, kitchen sink, you can add a lot more features. For instance, you can have small headlines, or you can have medium headlines, or large headlines. Now these things are all things that you can do in HTML by just coding going to the HTML version and adding H1, H2, or H3 tags. But these, the beauty of blogging um, and platforms like WordPress are that they make that simpler. So you can also have underscored text um, that is fully justified. And with that, you use this. I thought that would probably spread it out to the whole uh, page, but I think that's for large paragraphs um, to make it so that it looks like uh, even edges on both sides. Um, but you can have different colors, and this is the way you do that. We're going to pick and make that red. The options that you have for special characters lead almost to infinity, and so I'll click the special characters button and you see that this describes all those uh, characters that you have but we'll throw in the sign for infinity 
Now you also have these add media options where you can add an image, add a video, add audio. Uh, this is the general add media and then this is the add a poll uh, button. I'll just demonstrate quickly how you would add an image. So I'm going to add an image of the link icon. So you choose which file you want to upload. I'm going to go get this one from my desktop. Select it. And then as you scroll down, you see you have options for various sizes. This is a very small image, so as I insert it into the post, I'm putting it in at full size. And that picture is right here. So that's what the link icon looks like. That's the unlink. You can upload videos for free from YouTube just by pasting in the URL and clicking insert into post. And then it looks like this when you add in the YouTube video. Adding tags is easy too. You just type in various phrases that fit. And those tags are added. Categorizing, again likewise, you choose a category. The tags are externally oriented, drawing people into your blog. The categories are internally or oriented, helping people navigate your blog once they're there. Here is where you post in your trackbacks if that's necessary. Um, these are more for older kind of blog systems. With WordPress, the trackback is automatic, but as you see in my uh, blogging 118 course, I believe it was on trackbacks, uh, for some sites uh, to include a trackback, you need to specifically put a separate URL here. Um, you have the option to password protect the post. Um, we'll talk about that perhaps in a future course. And that's really all there is to it. I hope you've enjoyed Blogging 116, writing a WordPress blog post. I'm your Chancellor Lee Acey, thanking you for joining us on Smug.